Hi everyone! Today I'm bringing some Malaysian English words and phrases and I have some friends joining us today to guess what they mean. And joining us today are... Stu, I'm from Australia. William, from the States. And Mel, from Ireland. Go back. Go back. <laughs> go back. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> go back. Repeat. Go back. Say again. <laughs> go back. We'll no, go I was saying that it's like. Oh, okay. Uh, like it's to repeat. repeat. Yeah. Okay. Say it again. <laughs> we'll go back to that later. Go back to go. This is go much yeah. easier than than the others. <laughs> Actually, in a sentence, it would be. <laughs> you want to go back, right? Yeah. Go home. Go home. Yes. I'll go back. <laughs> mm. Um, mm. So we generally just say go back for going home. Yeah, really, not like go back to the end of the go no. back to the or go back to where we came from when you. We can say that, do a... but the context must be there. So oh. if let's say for example, it's like oh, where is Julian? Oh, he go back already. Mm. Mm -hmm. That means he went home. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, and you will notice that we say a lot of already instead of using a past tense. I go back already. Yeah. Ah, uh, why? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think it comes from Chinese because a lot of like Manglish is a, an amalgamation of English, Chinese grammar and some Malay words and so we tend to kind of merge them together but instead of saying it in Mandarin we say the English equivalent of those words or phrases and that's why you have words like can what because that uh, came from Chinese where mm -hmm. we will so, so it's it's Chinese together. grammar, grammatic, grammar, yes. grammar structures are being used in English. Yes. We have a little bit of that in Irish as well. There are examples of that, I, I can't remember what they are now. <laughs> what they are right now, but we have examples that we use Gaelic structures yeah. in English and we will say things in certain ways that English people won't fully understand. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Next one! Oh. Outstation. This one should be quite easy, I think. The space outstation. station. Outstation. Outstation. Outhouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would have thought it was an outhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. A, a toilet. toilet. Yeah, a toilet. But <laughs> the sent the sentence we would say is, "Hey, where's your brother? Oh, he went outstation. What? He went out station. He went outstation. What does that mean? He's stepped out for a minute. He went yeah. to the toilet. Because <laughs> 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 like the names to give him is himself. Right. That <laughs> okay. I thought this was easier, but outstation. Outstation. Yeah. He's staying out. Close, but there's He's more gone abroad. Too far. Okay. <laughs> they outsourced his job. He, <laughs> was, he went to somebody else's home. He went to the army. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely went somewhere. <laughs> I get the logic. I get the, yeah, logic. Yeah. I get the logic too. So, out, someone is outstation or went outstation is used when they are now living or working somewhere that is not home. Oh. Oh, okay. So they've moved city or they've moved. Or, mm -hmm. or they're working and like, they're still home and they're working. Or, or like it can be short term. You can go for a trip, but usually I would use it for work. So if my brother goes to let's say another city for three days for work, I'll say he went out station. Okay, but you wouldn't use that for going abroad long term and working long term. So this I'm not sure because I've heard people using it abroad, but how I understood it is usually within the same country, but in not in the home city. Okay. For a short period of time. Oh, for sure. so Everything he moves too he, far for a commute. Yes. If he moved away to another city, he wouldn't say outstation. Yeah, he, he, he moved. He then, moved. then it would be normal That's English. Normally, normally. <laughs> <laughs> he went to, on a trip for three days, he went outstation. But usually for work. So it'd be like a work trip? Yes. If you, if you're, if you went for, on a holiday... He went on a holiday. He went on a holiday. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Not on would. vacation. No, 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 <laughs> no, that was you, William. No, no, no. <laughs> no. So I went outstation. Maybe two yes. days a year. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't get vacations. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have leave. Oh, yes. <laughs> leave. Oh, we, we say leave. he's on leave. Mm -hmm. Like, if someone's like, has taken a day off from work, we say he's on leave. <laughs> now, for some reason, uh, for, for me, leave implies someone's gone for longer. Like, yeah, like a maternity uh, leave. Yeah, right? Uh, yeah. It's like you're gone for months or something. Or prison yeah. leave. So two days is not a uh, leave. <laughs> prison leave. Prison, prison leave. leave. <laughs> 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 
up in the States yeah, one day and eat it's a yeah. long time, so... <laughs> <laughs> With the little we get, it's like... <laughs> we just call it a day off. Day off, day yeah, off keep it simple, yeah. yeah. Alright, next one we have... Where got? Where... Where did you get that from? <laughs> where got? Where got? Where did he go? too simplified. <laughs> where got? So like, where has he gone? No, it has nothing... To do with where or... Has nothing to do with the two words on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> nothing so much. Where there, there, is a, there, is, there, you, there is an implied meaning, but not directly. There's nothing to do with the words. No. no. <laughs> okay. Good. Very Keeps it easy. Philosophical. Keeps it yeah. easy. Where's God? No. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've been forsaken where, and where you're God? questioning your uh, where your where God is. <laughs> What's up? Hey, where God? No. Where no. God? No. Oh, oh, where should we go to? Is no. God a uh, condensation of, of, of go to? <laughs> no. Oh, that That's was, very Korean. That was though. a serious <laughs> guess. Very Korean. And you're still laughing yeah. at me. <laughs> um, so the question is. You are so pretty! Are you aware of God? What? <laughs> I aware God. what? Who gave you that idea? Who gave you those jeans? <laughs> you are so pretty, I wear those God. Jeans. Like the nah. DNA jeans. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not enough context. Do you say that to a girl or nah. to a guy? You can say that to anyone. You can replace pretty with anything. You are so smart, are you aware of God? Your son is so Where'd smart, you get that so from? clever, are you aware of God? But where did you get it from? What gave you that idea? You're close. Not entirely, but that's the, the, the direction hmm. it goes. Hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> Actually, it, it's kind of there. So, you can say that's not true. But you can have a very... You, you know how Asians are supposed to be humble, so you can't just take compliments? <laughs> you can't, oh, if nah. someone says you're pretty, you can't just say, oh yeah, thank you. You know, so you have to say, I oh, wear God, it's like, nah, how did you see that? Like, cool. where did you find it? Where it's not true. Where'd you get that from? Where'd you get that from? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. mm. And is it true that you can't, Asians can't take compliments? Take but, you? Well, the thing is, I think Malaysians love compliments. So, if you... I love it, but I don't want to accept it. If you compliment me, I say pretty. You're sure it's so pretty. Thank you. Oh! 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 oh. 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 I'm very far from Malaysian speaking. <laughs> Where God? <laughs> yeah, so you say where God. Basically, this came from Chinese. Ah. So it means like, where do you find it? And mm -hmm. the next one is the last one. This is a, a, <laughs> kind of like, uh, you, you probably wouldn't know this. What is the difference between these two phrases? One is gola gola, and one is gola. <clears throat> <laughs> what wow. is your and what is not? Yeah. Is it a case of uh, saying something twice, making it uh, a much stronger message? That is, is true, but you can't double the next one. So, uh, so, so, so uh, now uh, it's like <laughs> questioning. Actually, now that you say it, I think you can. Do yeah, it, I did it, but uh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't amplify anything. Okay. Yeah. But it's like, Sounds like Coca Cola and Cola. <laughs> because Coca Cola, what is like, and you can say Cola. Right. Yes, that's true. So, what is a question? And the other is a statement? No, not question. I like the, the train of thoughts going there. That's like, that's a direction, but it's not a question. It's not a drink, is it? No. They, they actually, I can tell you that the word go retains its meaning here. Mm, okay. So it just means to, to go somewhere. So, go la go la, and go la. Go fast. Go slowly. Come on, come on. La, you said others. needs time. You need time. La is, means you need yes. time. Yes. So the la has to be sounded that way for it to achieve the meaning that I, I'm asking you for. Mm. You can have <laughs> go, go. a so couple go, of other meanings. Go, go. Go quickly. Go, go, go. Maybe and then go, go, la. I need more time. Let's go slowly. Yeah. It's like a song. Go, Maybe la. repetition is a means of emphasis. It, it is. Yes. Go, la, go, la means just more than go, la. <laughs> <laughs> Go more la. No, no, they have absolutely different meaning. So this is the answer. Gola gola is succumbing to request or plea from someone, mm. and gola is a it's the pleading word. So okay. imagine if a kid says, um, let's say I want to go to the to Disneyland, and the mother says, no, we don't have money. Then the kid will be like, gola gola, that is pleading. But once you get, you know, like annoyed by someone's request too much and goes, ah, gola, gola, gola. Ah, yes, okay, so okay, that, okay. that is, uh, like, okay, yeah, sure, let's do it. Ah, okay. Mm, yeah. And there you go. Have you learned some Malaysian English today? <laughs>
<laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> Tarima Kasi Karana Monotone Video in it Kami Harap under Manik Matinya. Bagila video ini satu like, comment, dan kongsikanlah video ini dengan keluarga dan rakan-rakan anda. Maukah anda menonton lebih video lagi? Pilalah dari playlist yang mengandungi video-video yang serupa. Jangan lupa untuk subscribe kepada channel kami dan tekan butang lonceng untuk menerima notifikasi mengenai video baru. <laughs>